Hello, dear friends. Are you there? Oh, say hello. Hello, dear friends. How are you doing? Okay, I'll wait and see how many people are here. Anna, oh, there she is. <laughs> Okay, so I, I still have my a little bit there. So uh and that's been a month, but it's because I take I take uh it still hurts a little. But it'll go away. I just need to go get some sun and uh, and ocean water. <laughs> uh All the way down to the, I had to undo the glove. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You have no idea how many times I had to undo something in order to get it. <clears throat> especially, <clears throat> especially if you need to, if you are the one that's uh, um, um, writing the instructions, you are the designer. And then, oh, no, this is not what I had in mind. It's something else. And then you have to unravel and redo it and rewrite the instructions. <laughs> so it happens all the time. Okay. Hi, to Fairy. We, I missed you last time. I don't think I saw you last time. How are you doing? I don't think I saw you last time. Yeah, the lovely tooth fairy. <laughs> she's she's like a, a, a neat lady. Sorry, needed to take a, a sip of water. <clears throat> forgot, forgot about the time. <laughs> but. Anyway, thank you for being with us. Where's Mary? I saw Mary yesterday because she went to the knitting class with the ladies. But uh, she's usually online. So anyway, thank you. Thank you for being with us. Ah, there's Mary. Good morning, Mary. Okay, so I was talking about you. I'm going to miss Mary a lot. She is my uh, lunch companion. <laughs> the two of us go at 2 o'clock in the afternoon to have lunch. And then we go to the knitting class on Tuesday. So, yeah, I'm going to miss her. Okay, what happens is that I am moving to Mexico. I am going to be living with Anna and Nicholas. We already have a, a, a very pretty place, a very pretty house close to Puerto Vallarta, a, a, a block and a half from the beach. And... Uh, the, the place is just beautiful, you know, like thick grass. And look at my light. Isn't that something? It is very cold here. Very, very cold. It's freezing. But, of course, compared to the people that live in the, in Norway, <laughs> like, oh. Anyway, Mary... Mary, I took Mary some stuff yesterday, you know, that kind of stuff that only in Mexico, it's something called tepescohuite. Tepescohuite is a paste that you use for bruises. And it's a, it has more or less the same purpose as arnica. So anyway, 
I know she's going to enjoy those things that I took her yesterday. <laughs> uh, I did have a very sweet farewell. And uh, all, of the, all of my students went yesterday and they took things for eating and they took like cakes and chocolates and and uh, uh, spinach dip with chips and thank you, thank you, thank you, Priscilla. Yes, London is cold. Ah, Central California. Okay, Holly. So yeah. Central California, oh, I don't know if it's cold there. I guess it is a little bit anyway. Um, I am leaving soon on the 8th. And uh, my son is coming to help me move. And feliz cumpleaños. Who's, who's birthday? It's not her birthday birthday but thank you no it's not my birthday but I'm moving to Mexico I'm moving close to Puerto Vallarta my my students had a gathering and uh, we had a very nice time very nice class very very nice and uh, so and you know moving is so difficult this it, I'm moving from one country to another, so it's not like it's, you know, anything. It's it's a it's big, and then getting rid of stuff is the craziest of everything because I cannot take them. I cannot take this stuff with me. It's not like I'm packing a van. I'm I'm taking four suitcases. That's it. And so it is very difficult, very, very. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much on my move. Thank you. Yes, Holly, I'm going to be happy because uh, that place is like, it's paradise. It was cold last night in, Guadal in, in Puerto Vallarta. Well, cold. <laughs> like it's freezing here it's 32 degrees so yeah it's very and, and the wind is very ooh, anyway it's going to be they say it's going we're going to have uh, freezing rain tomorrow so let's see what happens all your yarn I am not taking all my yarn. I gave a lot to Mary, a lot to my students, and uh, and uh, I can take only, you know, those compression bags that you take the air out, the space bags. I'm taking one of those with yarn. But Mexico has beautiful yarn. They make beautiful yarn in Aguascalientes, close to Guadalajara. And uh, they sell very pretty yarn. There's a place down, not downtown, but almost downtown Guadalajara, in Santa Tere, where they sell very pretty yarn. So, you know, it's uh, it's a matter of, and then the yarn is a, they have a lot of imports in Mexico because I guess they don't pay as much taxes as the United States. I don't know why, but anyway, I remember Hurricane Hugo. Is is there a Hurricane Hugo? One's a lot of treasures there. I am going to be well, Priscilla. Look, I am taking a lot of pictures of the things that were mine that I'm giving away. I am, uh, I have very good memories of everything that I, the only thing is that the movers that took stuff to to Arizona where my sister lives, 
lost a painting, a very valuable painting, and they haven't found it. And so that really gets me. So anyway, yes, we're going to be here in the same channel. I'm going to be here. Yes, yes. Oh, let me see. Oh, just a second. Hello, Mike. And can I call you back? I'm on live broadcast. Thank you. So that was Mike from, from selling Anna's car. So that we have on top of everything. I have to sell, uh, well, Anna has to sell her car. And the, the guy from Toyota called me. So, yes, come visit Mary. Please come visit. Uh, where? Really? Ooh. Rivers got flooded. Okay. Well, anyway, um, thank you. Thank you very much for being with us. I know that Anna needs to go pick up Nicholas. I need to tell you something. I forgot. Do you know what Helix knitting is? So Helix knitting is when you use rows of different colors when knitting in the round. In the round. <clears throat> and you do not have that ja jag or whatever it's called. So you don't have the, the, the ladder that shows when you're changing yarns. And I am knitting with the three colors at the same time. See that? So I'm knitting with one third one color, one third another color. Right now I have only yellow on these because I reached a point where I have to. But you knit with the three colors at the same time. And so on the same row, so on the same round. So this is very interesting. I'm going to be making a, a video on this. So this is really nice. As, as long as you keep your yarns in, in place. So as soon as you finish using the gray, you have to pass it to the end. And then you use the yellow and then pass it to the end. You have to be very careful. And then when you change yarns, like here, you don't twist like normally. You have to let go of that, that one there. And see, for example, here I need to continue with, with the brown. So uh, very interesting. So I'll make a video on this. And thank you very much for being with us. And uh, what helix knitting is very interesting because you can even use, I don't know, tank colors if you want to. And just knit in the round. They, it's like the colors chase each other. So you go knitting in the round and, and just pick up another color and knit and pick up another color and knit. Very interesting. What? Uh, a common help for review? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Nah, never ending story sings. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, we will have a, the, the live broadcast here in when I left there. We did that when I was in Puerto Vallarta, when I was where we live close to Puerto Vallarta. We, we had live broadcast. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you very much for being with us. And Anna needs to go pick up Nicholas. And uh, I will be seeing you next Wednesday. Yes. Thank you very much, Priscilla. Thank you, Pandora. <laughs>
Thank you to Terry. Love you all. Thank you, Holly. Thank you, Holly. Okay. Love you, everybody. Bye-bye.